Finally! Thanks for joining me today at Slot Valley Racing. For those who don't know, my name is Dan, and I want to thank you for joining me today as we have a look at this 100% absolutely fantastic looking AFX Camaro. It's showtime. This Camaro is part number 22079. It's rapid blue and black. In order to know where you're going, you have to know where you've been. So today, we're going to have a look at the first Camaro that's come out. Of course, it would have been the orange and black Camaro from the set only horsepower shootout set. Mm, absolutely fantastic uh, HO set. If you're currently in the market for an HO set, uh, this is the one. It has absolutely everything in it. It covers everything. There's lots of large track, and I don't just mean nines. I mean like... 12s and 15s there's lots of those uh great cars absolutely great cars well worth the well worth the cost uh so if you're looking for these fantastic cars um that's where you would find them and that is the only place you will find them uh either that or you have bought them from somebody who's taken them out of the set um now my suggestion to you is i would not buy a car that was taken out of the set because for the price of both the cars, you could buy the whole set, have all that kick ass AFX stuff, the new catch fencing, everything's in there. It's all AFX. Basically it's, it's we're AFX, we're showing off. Awesome, great job. So before we get into that, I would just like to say thank you to all my members. I absolutely appreciate your help. It's with your help that'll help me grow this channel and I do appreciate it. So I just wanna start off by saying thank you to um, uh, Patriot Hobbies. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Patriot Hobbies has his own channel, so please make sure you check him out. Uh, Donald Masson, thank you very much my friend. I appreciate it. Absolutely fantastic. Scott Spansel, thank you my friend once again. And Roach Racing HO, I want to thank you very much. Roach, Roach Racing HO also has his own channel, so please make sure you stop by and check that out. Now today, I would also like to spotlight the Win It Speedway. Absolutely fantastic. They have the, the most uh, done up set. It's so cool. And they do regular racing. Um, yeah, racing on the regular there all the time. Absolutely fantastic. So if you're the type of person that likes to watch other people racing and stuff, and I think we all are kind of closet, like to watch other people race, racer kind of people. Hey, that's fantastic. Get in there and watch a little bit. Make sure you subscribe and like. Absolutely fantastic. Once again, they've been doing this for a while and they're putting out some pretty kick-ass content. So guys, make sure you let them know. And make sure you let them know SBR sent you. I want to appreciate... Uh, <laughs> Family firm. Oh, son of a... We now have Mustang. Shelby GT500 in red is out now. That's part number 22077. It is currently out and for sale. And we also have the yellow Camaro. It is part number 22075. And it is out now as well. So absolutely fantastic. Everybody should have at least two, right? Because you got one in the set and you got one in the bank. Literally. All right, guys, are you ready? Here we go. Let's have a look at the packaging first before we tear into this bad boy. Of course, it's the AFX. It's an AFX product and it is a Mega G Plus chassis. We'll have a talk about that in a moment. And of course, we have the prize, which appears to be in good looking shape. We'll get into that in a minute as well. Nice looking car. Let's have a look at the back. Okay, rolling it out Star Wars style, I guess. Uh, they're just talking about the uh, the uh, their product a little bit here in a few different uh, languages. Um, bonjour, monsieur. And uh, here they talk about the chassis and about the car a little bit. 
absolutely great. Uh, it's really, really a nice, uh, nice build. Um, the ground effects magnet is not, um, it's not quite enough. Um, so as I always say to everybody, if you're going to do it up, you do it SVR style. You put a level 42 magnet in it. And whether you do or you don't put a front tire pit kit on it, it absolutely makes a difference in how it looks. It absolutely drives much better. And it sticks to the track a lot longer and you can push it a lot, a lot harder. So here we are, of course, it's part number 22079. It's the Camaro. It is the ZL1 1LE 2021 in rapid blue slash black. Amazing looking car. Let's get into it. All right, let's do this. Once again, can't give it the flick because the drag strip's still there, but we'll get that finished sooner or later. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Bam! Oh boy. Dang, that car looks nice, eh? Look at that. All right, well, let's get it out of this stuffy package. Get her home. All right, so let's take a quick moment to talk about where we've been, and then we'll talk about where we're going. So of course, what we have here is the orange Camaro ZL1 from the Horsepower Shootout set. Now this is a set only car. The only way you'll ever have this car is if you bought in the set, and I suggest you do so, or you've bought this car for somebody who took it out of the set, which should be you, so therefore I don't suggest you do that. If you are going to purchase this car, or it's absolutely fantastic sister or brother, however you want to look at it. The Mustang, the blue one that comes in the horsepower set, you're way better off to buy the horsepower set. You get all of AFX's new goodies. And if you're just to look at the price of the two cars and the new catch fencing in it alone, you've got your money covered easily. And you can totally justify it because now you've got piles of track, you have power track, you have uh, all their good stuff. This is their show off pack. So if you're in the, if you're in the look, for a brand new track or a new box, a new set, it's definitely got to be the horsepower set, hands down. All right? So, we'll just have a look at this for a moment without me talking so you guys can just enjoy uh, the detail in this and how absolutely fantastic this car looks. All right. Which brings us to today. And of course, here we have, it's the 2021 Camaro. It's rapid blue. It's the ZL1 1LE. Excuse me. All right, so we've got her hooked up SVR style. What do you guys think? This is what it looks like with the um, front tire pit kit on it. Personally, I think it looks tons better. This car looks absolutely fantastic. All right, let's talk about the detail a little bit. We'll have a little bit of a closer look. Maybe point some fingers at uh, some highlights here. All right, so here we are. Of course, the license plate, everything's everything's very sharp and crisp. Um, even if we were just to talk about the lettering on the tires for a moment, um, it, it looks really clear. I mean, you can, you can clearly see that it says Bridgestone. There's no question about it. It looks great. It adds a whole new, another dimension to this absolutely fantastic looking car. Here we are again with the lights, uh, tight decals, nice painting, no overspray. Look closely at the hood. Up front here, we got a really nice Chevy decal and you can see the whole entire grill looks very crisp and clear. Absolutely fantastic job. AFX has done a good job 
on the uh, both the livery and the painting of this car. Fantastic. All right, so here we are at the track. We're gonna give this a go. Um, we're gonna uh, take it for a tour around the urban and uh, enjoy uh, enjoy this beautiful, uh, beautiful looking car. It's absolutely fantastic, looks great. AFX did a great job on how this car looks. Man, I hope it runs as good as it looks. Let's do this. Well, there's the out of commission chassis. And there's the car that was to replace the car that I had problems with. Wow, what a shock. Now I have problems with the car that had problems with the replacement. Hmm. But anyways, here we go. Let's get at her. Wow, oh, this car is running spot on. Of course, this is the 1.7 chassis. AFX. Mega G Plus, of course. Looks nice around the track. It's actually running really nice and smooth. It's uh, it's very good. It's really good here. Oh, well, I guess I should dust the tires though. Love this controller. Works great for these Mega G Plus cars. Fantastic. If y'all haven't seen the uh, video I made on how to how to make these work for your AFX, uh, I do have a video on that. Uh, it's actually absolutely worth the watch. Um, I've discovered that for uh, a controller that was made in 1974, it runs like it was produced yesterday. And I love the fact that it has the sensitivity dial. Perfect. I don't understand. Why can this not be on a modern day? And then tell me, why can't a modern day handle be this big? At what point did they start making them so that uh, my tiny people on the track could use them? Car's running smooth. It's really nice. It's certainly not like the Mustang. The Mustang was absolute garbage. I have no idea what was wrong with that chassis, but I just can't deal with it anymore. Uh, when I originally bought the uh, Super International set, two of the four cars didn't work. Then I ordered eight cars after that, and one of those chassis didn't work. And then I was missing the piece of the banked track. Um, and, 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 and. So my whole problem here is it's starting to feel a lot like McDonald's where they really don't care too much about your problem, although they do fix it. But they fix your problem and not the problem. So it's like McDonald's when you say, oh, I, I didn't have cheese on my cheeseburger. Well, then they're just going to dump more food on you. They're not going to fix the problem. They're just going to dump more food on you. And that's essentially what the slot car companies are doing now. It doesn't matter whether they're Auto World or AFX. Everything's being done in China, which is absolutely pathetic with a capital P. The fact that all manufacturing slot cars is trapped in China is disgusting. I don't know. Maybe uh, you guys can let me know what you think about that in the, in the comments down below. Um, let me know what you feel about uh, um, our slot cars being made in China and how you'd feel if they're being made domestically. Uh, please leave a comment down below.
Before we head out today, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I'd like to thank one more time all my members, and I'd certainly love to thank all my subscribers. Without you guys, none of this would have happened. I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys are all kick-ass, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. To everybody who's watched this video and hasn't subscribed yet, well, maybe it's time. I got a lot of cool content coming up, starting with Saturday, where I finally meet up with the Mystery Machine, and we talk about the mystery that's been happening at Slot Valley Racing. For those of you who don't know, my name is Dan, and I want to thank you for watching and joining us today. I just want to remind you to check out your local HO. Without these guys, you guys would have nothing to watch. Nothing worthy anyways. And don't forget, make sure you check out the Win It Speedway. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I want to say hi to those guys over there. Pumping out some awesome racing with their kick-ass looking set. Absolutely fantastic. They are also another layout that I got some inspiration from. The more you have on your set, the more people will be interested and want to watch your stuff. And I think they've got the secret sauce down. So to those guys at Do Win It Speedway, I want to thank you. Thank you for your content. From all of us here at Slot Valley Racing, don't forget, get your heart racing. I'll be back.